Hi, welcome uh, to another PhotoLink video. Uh, this uh, video is going to be on a very powerful plugin called Liquid uh, Rescale. And um, what we're going to do is work on an image here by our friend in Ireland, Mark, of his lovely daughter. And what we're going to do is reduce the size of the background without affecting her or two of the birds. And then when we reduce the size of the background, we're also going to eliminate one bird from the background. So basically, um, we are using a plugin called Liquid Rescale. This is available in the GIMP uh, plugin registry under um, www.gimp.org. And um, uh, I won't cover installation here. And the last one I covered, enlargement of an image, we're just going to uh, cover uh, image reduction and uh, in the next video, we'll cover the details. But we're going to reduce the size of the background of this image without affecting her dimensions or two of the birds. So the first thing that we're going to do is after the plugin is installed, it appears in the layer menu under Liquid Rescale. We click on that, we get the Liquid Rescale plugin dialog. It appears. We go to our output area and make sure that everything is checked except scale back to original size. And take a look at our feature mask. The feature preservation mask <coughs> is nothing more a mask than what we wish to preserve the detail on and the, and the uh, aspect ratio on. And the discard mask is what we would prefer to take out of our image. So now I'm going to select a new width that I'd like for this image. And we're going to make this um, 6, 690. Okay, instead of 740. Now, when you're taking stuff out of an image with the discard mask, you can only do that on image reduction when you're reducing the size of an image. So, um, first of all, let's uh, define the detail that we wish to preserve. So we're going to click on this to create a new transparent layer uh, for our feature presentation mask. When we pull this out of the way, you'll notice there it is. It is already selected. This is our background preservation mask, our paintbrush, and our color that we're going to paint the detail in on. So we're going to increase our brush size, and we're going to paint over Mark's daughter to say, this is the image which we choose to maintain all the detail on. And that is the width, the height, and the total aspect ratio of that image. Make sure that's covered. Reducing our brush slightly, we also want to make sure that those birds are covered. So now we have defined the uh, image data which we choose to preserve. I go back to my Liquid Rescale uh, dialog box, and now I'm going to declare or create a new um, feature discard mask. So if you notice, it will create a new mask in a new color called the discard mask, and we're now painting in red of this small size. And we're going to paint over this single bird. Okay, so we've done that. So now we have created uh, our mask, our discard, the da I mean the parts of the image we wish to discard, and the parts of the image we wish to preserve. And we've also gone from 740 pixels width to 690. So I'm simply if I click re Refresh, it's going to refresh the dialog on the screen of this image in the dialog. And I'm just going to click OK. You get a lot of flashing along the bottom. And what happens is this. Um, I can basically turn this off. And I can turn this off and this off and this off, and I didn't cover that, well, it was, 
I didn't cover the bird completely, but if you'll notice, uh, the one bird is gone, and the image, I'll refresh this, has been reduced uh, to 690 pixels. So I'll turn that off. There's our original background image, which was that large. And here's our new image, which is smaller. So again, original background image with the two birds, the three birds, and the, uh, the new image, which has been reduced in size without affecting any of the geometry of the elements that I declared in the uh, preservation mask. The basically the seams, which are these squiggly lines right here, are uh, basically seams that have been carved out along lines of, um, of contrast that basically what they do is they declare how the image is going to be switched or how it's going to be reduced. So uh, if you look at a lot of these images, and here I'm going to reduce this, and I'll resize it again to refresh it. If you will look at this image, um, the detail has been altered perfectly, and uh, it's a phenomenal tool. So if you wish re to reduce something uh, in order to make it an 8x10 or a 5x7 or whatever, uh, when the crop size does not actually fit uh, what you want, um, the you know the output format that you want, this becomes an invaluable tool. Or if you want to, you know, take away uh, detail that is uh, um, not overlapping, and I think that's the issue that we had with part of the wing here. Uh, it was not over; it was overlapping. Um, basically, this becomes an incredible tool. Uh, when you're done, you just get rid of um, these layers. And you're left uh, with that image of the reduced size. Uh, thank you very much um, for watching this video. Uh, if you have some images you'd like to work on, please email them to joeg, that's J-O-E-G, at photolink, F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q, dot com. Uh, please go to the site, www.photolink.com. I have some videos I have to update, but they will be there shortly. Uh, thank you for watching this, and thank you very much, Mark, for allowing us to use your image, and uh, have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.